So today I'm, I'm going to start prepping the walls for um, the wall paneling to fill it in. And this is like the dining area of the mobile home. And so um, I took out all the screws and nails that were in the walls already um, and so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just going to dust up there to make sure there's no spider webs and I am going to start making sure that I wash inside these grooves well I'm gonna wash the whole wall but just trying to make sure that there's not any dust or dirt or anything in there um, so that we can start working on it I'm not too sure if I'm taking the trim off or not or if I'm just gonna leave it for this process um, I know eventually it'll be changed but and so we're gonna do this wall this cabinet side this wall and this wall and all the way around um, this will be our first time doing this so we'll just see how it goes So I have a spray bottle, and my spray bottle there is um, bleach, dish soap, and water. I'm just going to use a rag. I'm not going to spray my wall because um, I don't want too much moisture on it. So I'm ready to move on to the next step of um, filling in these grooves on the wall. I have some putty and a tape or a painting scraper, a little mud plastic bucket, and then some sanding smudges. This is what we're going to use to um, fill the holes in. I've seen a couple different videos and a lot of people said that this worked really good. Um, so we're just going to try it. Again, I've never done this before, so we're just going to see how it ends up.
So this is what the wall looks like the next day. Um, there are some spots on here that um, I could have got scraped better, but um, what I'm going to do is take a sanding sponge and I'm just going to go over it trying to get anything that sticks up over but the fill on the inside it did pretty good on almost all of the um, gaps this is really smooth so I'm gonna see how it looks like after I sand them and see if I'm gonna have to go over it again or if it'll be ready for priming So this is my sanding sponge. Um, it's a little damp already. And all I'm going to do is um, <laughs> I'm just going over anywhere that looks um, like it's not smooth and I'm just smoothing it out. So, um, let's see. And I'm going to do that all the way around the room. And this held over pretty good. Like this is quite smooth. I'm more having to get like the edges right here where it meets the wall. And just making sure that that's all smooth. Just making sure it's smooth. So right here, you can see that I missed a gap, so I will have to come back around and do this part. I don't know it, um, how good you guys can see this, but we just got done sanding and wiping down the wall, and this turned out so great. There are some spots where um, we have missed but in a lot of places this one layer seemed to do really good um i'm surprised that it didn't shrink as much as um i thought it was going to when i was watching the videos i seen um a, a lot of people say that it shrunk i don't know if it's because i made it kind of like a thick layer over it and then sanded it down one thing that I do suggest though is using the sanding sponges that we got which were these because it just worked so great. Um, again, there are some spots that we need to refill because we just completely missed it. But um, like right here, we missed right there so we need to go back and um fill that in but everything is just really smooth um right. so this is what one wall or the side of the cabinet looks like and then this is the big dining room or dining area wall um it doesn't look so pretty right now but I am very, very happy with it. Um, this is the first time I ever done something like this. I wasn't sure in the beginning what it was going to be like and if it was going to be hard and this is easy. I can honestly say that we saved so, 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 so much money not having to tear this down and being able to just keep going with um, our renovation with everything going on um, 
I will put the cost in here, but I believe that it was only about 30 bucks to do this. Um, and so I'm excited. I am going to do the second layer and then go from there. So we just got done priming and we only put in one layer of Kills Kitchen and Bath Prime on. Um, the walls look really good. Um, there are some spots where you can see the lines a little bit more through the primer. I'm not too worried about it at the moment because we are just going to paint the walls white. Um, and I'm going to do two layer or two coats of white paint. Um, I do feel like it all in all it turned out really good. The only thing that um, I do see that I don't know how it's going to end up is um, the cabinets. So if you look you can kind of see a lot better than on the walls. So I'm not sure if, um, if it's going to come through the white paint or not. Um, I do want to show you like you can't even see the grooves or anything like this was a hole and this is um, how it looks now being patched up it does look like it could use a little bit more of the compound but um other than this this is just completely flat there is a spot right over here on the side by the stove my light is really bad let me see right there where you can see it does dip in and it's a little funky right here so I do think I'm gonna go back in and sand this part down a little bit and remud it um, I know that's a lot of work but I just rather um, I hide them it's kind of like right here too it's just gonna have to probably redo this whole wall this one only had um one um, oh so this had only one layer of the compound put in it and um it shrunk and I thought that it wasn't gonna look too bad so I did prime over it without putting the second um layer of compound in there but well, the way it looks I am gonna go back and put the sand this back down and put that second layer so that it can be smooth um again I'm not too worried about um like up there right? it looks nice I'm just not worried about it um we did take the cabinet uh off up there Except for that one, that one doesn't come off. And those look fine. Um, the whole cabinet. We'll be removing part of it. Um, we did take these down and then we primed the inside of it with kills. Um, just because we want to make sure that we don't... Um, we don't want any smells since this is the original stuff. Um, there's that little cabinet too. And then there's this little cute cabinet. And so all of it is dry. Just so you guys know, he's not sitting in wet drawer. Murmur, you say hi. Hi. So this is the wall after their first coat of paint. Um, 
It looks really good. You can't see the lines of where we put the You can't see the lines where we put the compost or compound, I mean. So you can't see the lines where we put the compound in and the walls look really good. I am going to take a um another brush. Um I bought these right here. And so I'm going to take another brush and I am going to go over the wall just to give it a little texture because um, with the second coat because if you look there's like a few like nooks of uh, maybe something that I didn't uh, sand down good enough or something. It's not really bad but um, oh there you go. It's not really bad or anything, so um, I'm just going to do that because I think it would bother me for it to be smooth besides a couple little pieces here and there. So we're just going to add texture to it and then I'll show you what it looks like with its last and final um, paint coat on it and again I do still have these trims on because I'm still not sure when I'm gonna replace it but the walls look nice and this is this is the wall where the pantry was I don't know if I can have another light there you go and this kind of, you can see where um, we filled in, and I forgot to sand it right here. So, if you look, you can see that um, the texture with me adding it on, it'll just make it look a little bit better. Because I don't like that. Um, I do believe that if I sanded better, um, or the next time that I try to do this, it'll look better. I just have to remember to sand it. But anyhow, that's that.